So, uh, so what about beef do you find funny, or what, what is it? What is it about beef? Well, you know, if you've ever seen any of these documentaries on slaughterhouses, I was watching one the other night, and it... Which one? You know, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you the okay. name. Okay. I don't remember. But they were talking about the trauma that a cow goes through right before it's slaughtered. Yeah, you know, they go through, and, and we watched a, I watched a movie, too, about an autistic chick who herds cattle Oh, into was it thing. Temple Garden? Yeah, yeah. It's Claire yeah. Danes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw her interview on the Colbert Report, because, yeah. Um, but it, it really brings to light, you know. I mean, it's crazy what happens to a cow right before he dies, because, you know, they dump it down this tube, they throw it in, like, all this water, it comes back out, it's all washed, and then they shove it into a line with a bunch of other cows. And then, like, you're standing in that line, and you're a cow, and the cow in front of you, he stands up there, and, you know, he gets two feet in front of you, and they shoot him in the head with a nail gun. Just kill him. So you freak out because you just saw your buddy get shot in the head with a nail gun. So obviously you're freaking out. And now you've got all these toxins rolling around in your system because you're going, holy shit, I'm going to die and go to cow heaven. All these toxins get into the meat, and when we eat the meat, it tastes like crap. But I have solved this problem. Rather than just a regular slaughterhouse, I'm thinking of a cow nightclub. Check it out. You get 100 cows go in. We'll say 98 cows come out each time. You know, and you pick two and you tell them you're taking them to the VIP lounge. You get both the cows into the VIP lounge and then you send another one out to the bathroom. When he is gone, that's when you slaughter the second cow. When the first cow comes back from the bathroom, he's like, where did Jeff go? He'd be like, I don't know, you know, he had a hot date, a heifer came in, picked him up, they took off. He'd be like, all right, VIP room rocks. That cow goes back outside to the pasture with the other cows, and they're all like, oh, wow, yeah, well, that was a great club. Where'd you go? The VIP room. Where's Jeff? Got laid with a heifer. Nobody ever questions it. The beef doesn't feel bad about it. They never see it coming. None of the cows in the field ever get wise to it. It's, it's the perfect scenario.